In this video, you'll learn how to create your population graph using Google Spreadsheets. So here in Lesson 21, you'll see a link to the Google Sites website. So we're going to click on that. And you'll see um, right here should be your Google site that you created in Lesson 9. And remember, the sample site that I created was for the student named Fake Student. Locate the black bar along the top of the screen and then locate the word Drive. Click on that. If you've been using um, Google Drive to create essays during the year, you'll have a list here. Otherwise, this could be blank. Find the red Create button. Click on that. Then select Spreadsheet. In the upper left where it says Untitled Spreadsheet, click on that and type the name of your spreadsheet. Name it Population Graph and then your last name. So in this case, fake student's last name is student. And then I'll click OK. All right. Then in column A, I'll type the word year, column A, uh, row 1. Column B, I'll type the word population. Previously, you gathered the data for this um, graph, so now I'm simply going to paste the data that I gathered for my state, just to save us a little time. So once we have the data in uh, the columns, I'll proofread to make sure that I have accurate information, then highlight the entire section, all of the cells, and locate the Insert Chart button up here in the uh, center upper portion of the screen. Click on Insert Chart. And the highlighted chart is this bar graph, which is the one I recommend you use. It, the check is already there for Use Row 1 as headers. Let's also place a check mark for using Column A as labels. And then click Insert. Now our uh, population graph is inside of our spreadsheet and we can do a little customizing. First I'll type inside the chart title to change that and I will call this Iowa population graph. Of course you will use your um, own state name. You can, it says here press enter to apply so I'll do that and then I can go ahead and change the color if I like and it's already bold. I like the way that looks, so I'll just click over on any of the white section of the graph so I can continue on. Now I'm going to change the uh, left, the horizontal and vertical axes. So I'll start by clicking on the horizontal axis title down here and change that to say population. Again, I have to press enter to apply, and then I can make it bold. I can change the color. I'll pick this one, and when I'm happy with that, I click on just on the white portion of the graph to exit edit mode. Do the vertical one. I'm going to call this years or year, and again, enter to apply. I'm going to change the color, make that bold, and then click on the white part to exit edit mode. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is format the columns. This is optional, but I think it helps the readability of the graph. So if I click in here, in the graph area, I have some choices. I'm just going to do the number of grid lines. I'm going to change that to 8. And then I'm also going to change the color of the grid lines. That's just for pretty, so you can definitely, that's optional, of course. And then I'll just click on the white portion of the graph to exit. The next thing I want to do is change the axis labels, because because since I added extra uh, grid lines, now this looks kind of funky down here. So I'll click on that, and I want to add a 30% angle, and I'm also going to change the color, and going to make those bold. All right, there, I like the way that looks better now. And I'm going to change the font color 
of the vertical uh, labels and also make them bold. Okay, I'm going to make my population graph just a little bit bigger, spread it out a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to stop for a moment and just proofread everything, see how everything looks. Now I'm going to add a background color if I choose. This is optional again, so I'll try. Um, well, let's see what happens if I try red. Oh, that makes it very difficult to read. So you need to make sure that while you can have some fun with the color formatting, the most important thing is to make sure that the graph can be easily read. This makes it very difficult to read. So I could try a different color, maybe that one. Okay, that looks good. If you like a color in the background, you can use that. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave mine white. When you're finished, you just check to make sure that all your changes have been saved and you, you look right up in here, it says all changes saved in Drive. And so then I know that my spreadsheet and my graph are saved and I can now close that window. And here's my population graph that I just created. I can click on that just to check it out. There's my spreadsheet and there's my graph. When I come back later on um, to add this to my Google site, We'll come right back here to get it, and it's very easy to, to insert this into the Google page. So there you go, how to create a population graph in Google Spreadsheets.